do your reading. Uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. Um, I can be speaking about the perspective of the cross watcher, and everything else about this reading will be in the description box below, okay? We're going to get three cards for Pisces right now. Give me three cards for Pisces. The sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Three cards for Pisces. We have fertility, base chakra, and throat chakra. Two chakras right here. Spirit wants you to know that you have to speak up. Someone needs to speak up about something. Someone needs to speak their truth out of plain... Um, someone needs to speak their truth because of maybe... Oh, we have the emperor here. So someone wants to speak their truth about maybe um, things may be blocking them. Um, someone's throat chakra and root chakra could be blocked. Meaning they're not really grounded where they're at. They're not grounded where they're at and they're not speaking up about something. Um, we have fertility and then we have the emperor. Empress, emperor energy. Um... This is one of those situations, Pisces, where this person wants to commit to you. They see you as their empress. There could be some things in the middle of your guys' connection right now. And I think it has a lot to do with these chakras being blocked. Remember, your throat chakra is in your throat. Your base chakra is in your uh, pelvis area. So, uh, the, the root chakra has a lot to do with grounding yourself and being in the here and now okay not sure what who is that's relevant for but I'm really feeling this has to do with an emperor and an empress okay I'm just gonna shuffle and lay them out tell you what I see what's the energy that we have for the sign of Pisces some moon rising Venus signs What's the energy that we have right now for the sign of Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for the sign of Pisces? The Moon card. Pisces. Cancer energy. That Empress again. Libra Taurus energy. Five of Cups, Queen of Cups, The Lovers, Gemini Energy, <clears throat> The Devil Card, okay, and then we have the Seven of Swords. Uh, Pisces, you're dealing with someone that realizes how deceptive they were. Um, they could have deceptive energy around them too, like there could be people around them, <clears throat> This person tried to get away with something. Tell me about the moon card for Pisces. Alright. Six of Wands. Okay. Tell me about the Empress card for Pisces. Ten of Cups. There's like a hidden success. I feel like maybe you have a hidden success right now. Um, you're really in your empress energy. Uh, you're not chasing this person. But I really feel like this person needs your attention. Yeah, they're a little bit insecure right now because they don't have your attention. What's this queen of cups about for Pisces? The chariot. Someone coming forward to express um, their feelings. Um, the Queen of Cups is someone very intuitive, too. Um, I'm getting water, a lot of water energy. You could be dealing with a Cancer, but this could be you just popping up in your reading. I really feel like for most of you, this person um, has to come forward and they have to speak something to you. Uh, tell me about this uh, Devil energy for Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. Pisces, your person, for a lot of you, your person is in a commitment right now, but it's toxic. 
It's something that they're bonded to. It's something that they feel like they put a lot of money into. So it's like they can't, they feel like they can't part from it right now. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here for Pisces. Someone rising of Venus signs. The Magician. That manipulative energy. Whatever manipulative energy this is, it's really putting someone in um, a confusing state of mind right now. Like um, in an illusion. Someone is delusional. Tell me about the Five of Cups here for Pisces. Nine of Cups. Why is the lovers here for Pisces? Why is the lovers here for Pisces? Ah, someone's following their intuition. Yep, two of cups. Someone is following their intuition when it comes to the things that they want right now. I'm really picking up of a masculine energy. Um, I'm also hearing something about maybe something had came out about someone in a commitment. Maybe they're already committed. Um, but this person is making a choice to come towards you. Um, they see you as their counterpart. They're, they have a lot of feelings for you. But they're in some sort of regret. I feel like maybe they're in regret because of their own selfish ways. When we have the magician in the seven of swords here, that talks about maybe getting away with something, maybe some manipulation. Um... And you've seen that. Once it came out, um, you sort of had some sort of success in your life. You make this person happy. They regret losing you. <clears throat> Chariot. Yeah. <clears throat> this person feels like maybe they're stuck in a bond. They're stuck in a, in a bond, like a commitment already. For a lot of you. And I feel like. The commitment is, is just very toxic for this person. They want to be with you. They don't see this. Um, they could be dealing with a Capricorn. They could be dealing with another water sign. They could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, Gemini. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And heavy Cancer, too. <sighs> this person did something... Selfish, manipulative. And it has to do with money. You're coming off as very happy right now. And they know that if they were with you, then they would be happy. But I feel like as soon as someone followed their intuition and something came out, that's where everything changed. It's like victory and success with this person. Okay. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I think that's what you did with this person. This person wants to um, retreat with you. I feel like also this person is probably hiding. Separation. The time, time apart from your partner is on horizon. Yeah. Separation. Retreat. But this is what's going through their mind right now. They don't, um, they don't like where they're at. Let me get another one for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. One more card for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. One more card for Pisces. Thank you. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. This person knows that you guys have a strong magnetic, magnetic attraction. They could be somewhat obsessed with you. But they're also in some sort of regret. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, if you don't trust this person, Spirit understands why you don't trust this person. But they want you to have faith with this person also. Um, yeah. They missed out on their wishes, Pisces. They regret losing you. Alright, Pisces. That was your reading. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in your next reading. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.